COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is a lung disorder that makes it difficult for a patient to breathe. It results in wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness, and is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. In this video, we will provide a brief overview of COPD, including its symptoms, causes, and treatment options. So, if you're ready, let's get into it. COPD is a chronic respiratory disease that results in difficulty breathing due to narrowing of the airways within the lungs. It is a progressive disease, which means that it gets worse over time. COPD is caused by exposure to irritants such as cigarette smoke, secondhand smoke, air pollution, and chemical fumes. The symptoms of COPD typically do not appear until middle age, and the disease typically progresses slowly over time. Now, let's talk about the signs and symptoms. The most common symptom of COPD is shortness of breath, which can occur even when performing simple activities such as walking or climbing stairs. Some other common symptoms of this disease include dyspnea, wheezing, chest tightness, coughing up mucus, and fatigue. Each patient's experience with COPD is unique, and many people also experience anxiety and depression due to the limitations caused by their disease. Now, let's talk about the causes. COPD is caused by long-term exposure to irritants like cigarette smoke, secondhand smoke, air pollution, and chemical fumes. Exposure to these substances damages the lungs over time and causes inflammation that narrows their airways within the lungs. There are a number of risk factors for developing COPD, including exposure to cigarette smoke, exposure to secondhand smoke, living in a polluted area, and working in a job that exposes you to chemical fumes or dust. Genetic factors also play a role as people with relatives who have COPD are more likely to develop the disease. Next, let's talk about the treatment. COPD cannot be cured, but there are a number of treatment options available to help manage the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. Some examples include inhaled bronchodilators, inhaled corticosteroids, lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking and avoiding exposure to irritants, pulmonary rehabilitation, low-flow oxygen therapy, non-invasive ventilation, and mechanical ventilation in severe cases. The treatment method will vary with each patient depending on the severity of their signs and symptoms. Non-invasive ventilation is the preferred method of treatment during an acute exacerbation of COPD. BiPAP is the most common example, and the goal is to avoid invasive ventilation. However, if the patient's condition worsens, intubation and conventional mechanical ventilation would be indicated. There are two primary types of COPD, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Each has key similarities and differences that must be understood by respiratory therapists and medical professionals. Emphysema is an obstructive disease that causes increased lung expansion due to air trapping. It causes irreversible damage to the alveolar walls, which results in permanent enlargement of the air spaces distal to the terminal bronchioles. This makes it difficult for a person to exhale air out of the lungs. Chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis is a type of COPD that is characterized by increased mucus production in the trachea and bronchi. This results in a productive cough that occurs for at least three months of the year for more than two consecutive years. Respiratory therapists are required to understand and recognize the differences in patients with emphysema, chronic bronchitis, and other obstructive lung diseases. We have several videos and resources on our channel and website that can help make the learning process much easier, so definitely check those out if you want to learn more. But if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it.
and there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.